Hello everyone, welcome to this short instructional video in which I am going to show you how to properly use the whiteboard. So the whiteboard is available to you at all times when you are the presenter, but still there are moments where you would like all of the people to contribute. So if we want to give everyone the freedom to use the whiteboard, it is possible when you go to the right hand side of the screen and click on turn multi-user whiteboard on. As you can see right now, from one screen, it changed to a couple of them. So right now, you are going to see all of the people's cursors on the screen as well. If we would have more people inside the room, you would see all of them, of course. So if you want to create an interactivity like this, it is good to shape the PowerPoint slide like this. So actually you have lines and you have a clear goal. So what words come to your mind when you think about virtual meetings? I am actually going to, uh, well, to answer this question. And in order to do it in the tools section, I need to have text. So right now I am ready to create a text box on the screen. And I can do it by actually clicking on the screen and dragging it. So actually I create this, you know, shape. Inside here, you can see that I can write right now. So when I think about words that come to my mind when I think about virtual meetings, I think about no travel. Yes, so if I click somewhere outside, it is going to be visible here. A couple of options that are kind of additional. When you create this text box, you are still able to change font size and colors. So right now I am going for much bigger size and a different color. So my color is going to be magenta. And when I write, this is going to be indicated here. And again, if I click outside, this is going to stay here. Of course, uh, you don't have to use only the text. This is just the example of the tutor coming up with well whiteboard for text use. There are some cases where you would like people to use different tools. So let's say that I'm going to create different rectangles or triangles. So it is possible to create different shapes here. And what's important is that they still can well, change some settings here, so they are not the same. They can change thickness, they can change the color. And if you want to well, undo an annotation, you can do it, no problem. The last one, or you can clear all annotations. So actually, the whiteboard is going to be clear. All right, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.